Welcome back, everybody. We are back at it, and I have the HK-21. Just like I did. I hit the box a few times. Um, I moved here, and yeah. But you didn't miss anything. It's still round 29. Uh, I need to take a little break, and we are back. Um, we've got the HK, unpack-a-punched. I think I'm going to use it until I pack-a-punch it again. No, until it runs out of ammo, and then I'm going to pack-a-punch it again, just like I had it last time. Um, as far as these guys, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see a headshot. Headshots, dude. Oh, wait. No, he's not there. This is the last one. I think. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. There's a rot there's a there's a, a a wire. There's a wire running across me in front of me. Um, because I had to charge my laptop. I record on my laptop. And, <laughs> and then I uh, render on my big a big iMac. I should have my thunder gun out. Probably a good idea. Um if I down myself now though, I'm sorry, I just jumped in since I took a little break. Uh, I might go down around thirty. Don't know. Am I gonna beat my record? <gasps> I don't know, but I've got I've got pretty good guns. I've got some, some of the best guns in the game. Um, oh god! Already gonna die. Is this linked? Yeah. All right. Just making sure. Um. What were we talking about? I forgot. Uh. We're talking about transit, right? I think transit and how the uh, and how the how the how Black Ops Two and Zombies is a little bit disappointing. Eh, I don't know. Like I said, a DLC would just would fix everything. Just a bigger map. You know what I mean? Bigger map, better guns on the wall. Just make the next keynote. You know? Make the next keynote, and I will be happy. Be very happy. Because getting to round 30 is something I like to do. Uh, so what do we talk about next? What do we talk about next? Need something to talk about. Huh? It's boring. Oh, it's... These guys are gonna die. Get in the other way. These guys are gonna die. Um, I don't know. What should we talk about? Let me think about it. I mean, I don't want to go into the internet or anything like that. That's just. That's a painful conversation to have. It really is. It really is. Um, yeah, I like Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 is great. Uh, sad that my disc is scratched. I think Black Ops 2 is great. Um, and I did pre-order it. Um, but, like I said, we count 2025 DLC, so I think I will still have that. Even though I have to switch out the disc. I think it'll still work. Um, I hope so. I hope so. If not, I'd be calling up a trademark. Eh, probably. Um, I, I do miss, I do miss the survival. I, you know, it's kind of fun to go back into this, um, playing, playing like this. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, getting those oh god moments. Um, it is fun going back into survival because transit, you know, my friends don't play survival. They play transit. I've seen all the town stuff with you, all the town stuff with you. Um, you know, the one thing, there were a couple things, there were a couple things, um, I guess you can call them rumors, because they're, they're not true, um, but before, way back when, probably be earlier in the year, maybe a couple months back almost, when Black Ops 2 was announced, um, we, you know, we were all, we were all wondering about zombies. Yeah, I was wondering. Um, and what they would do with zombies, were they going to return zombies, um, or the zombies going to have their own campaign, and on Wikipedia, I know Wikipedia is not that trustworthy of a source, but I heard from multiple places that there was a zombies campaign, um, and then Wikipedia said, Treyarch confirmed, there was a zombies campaign, and I was like, sweet, so now we get a campaign with missions and maybe you can survive X amount of zombie rounds, and get onto a new level or something like that. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe zombies will change. Um, traditional running 
around in circles. Uh, you know, because when you play zombies for the first time, you have no idea how to play. The game does not teach you. Um, and you can play zombies right from the get-go. You don't even have to go through the campaign like you did on World at War for a point, and then to get five on Black Ops. Um, you can just go straight to zombies on Black Ops 2, and so the first time you play, you have no idea how to play. It does not play the controls. Um, now, the controls are pretty much the same, but it, there's no tutorial. Um, there's no tutorial on the game. And so, maybe making a campaign kind of fix that, where the, uh, uh, where the, where they, you know, kind of teach you, kind of teach you the mission, storyline, and stuff like that. Um, well, there is a storyline, but you know what I mean. I mean, like, a legitimate campaign. Ooh, the zombies are just kind of this extra game that uh, still is. That's the sad part. It still is. In my opinion, zombies is still extra. Um, because... There were a couple things they were announced. First of all, they announced that there would be a zombies campaign, which there technically isn't. I guess Transit was supposed to be considered this campaign, but it really isn't a campaign. It's, it's a new game mode, um, part of the Zombies franchise. <laughs> There's a Zombies franchise like uh, Money Making Scheme or something like that. Um, but no, tra Transit is a new game mode. That's really all Transit's is. Um, I'm oh god, oh, that's much. that was quite some lag. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Um, but yeah, Transit was just, well, it's just a new game mode. Um, and another thing they announced, this was probably the one thing that pissed me off the most. It, they announced that there would be eight players on this. And when I heard that, I was like, yes, I'm getting a little bit of lag. I don't know why. I hope I don't get a G-spot. I don't know what that is. Holy... Holy... Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go pack a bunch of my, uh... What's it called? My, uh... Um... But, um, yeah, but I heard 8 player zombies and I was like, yes, this, you know, I could play with all of the good people on my friends list and we could have, you know, epic gameplays where we could go to round 60 maybe, you know, who knows? And I was ready for some epic games, I really was. And I buy Black Ops and you can only play survival and transit with 4 people. You can only play survival and transit with four people, and there's this new game mode called Brief, which isn't really the same that you can play with eight people. That was a big one, because it was like, oh yeah, we got eight player zombies, it's just not eight player zombies, that's the problem. Holy cheating the bastards. Um, I should keep my thunder gun out. Uh, pro tip. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of disappointing to see that. Like, I mean, it could have been rumors. Who knows? You know, it could have been rumors either from Treyarch. Could have been um, suspicious tweets that kind of confirmed stuff that wasn't actually confirmed. That was just made up by somebody and assumed as fact. I mean, who knows? You know, but. It's if Treyarch actually said, "Dude, we're gonna put a zombies campaign and we're gonna make zombies eight players. Make zombies eight players. Don't put this like brief mode in that is like a version of zombies, but not exactly the zombies that you know. It's like kind of a competition four v four. Because brief, brief, what real, what brief mode really is is this competition. You want to verse your verse a lot of your friends." In a competitions to see who can kill the most zombies. And you can't revive people on the other team. You're helping them out, but you can't revive people on the other team. And it's really weird. Um, I played it with uh, Schmoobin and Blump Blumpster and Samuels, I think, and maybe some other people. And it, it was really weird because when I when you die, and I was playing it with Ruben too, I think, just me and Ruben. And when you die, 
and someone else is on your team, it's like you sit there and you're like, okay, can the other person revive me? And they can't because they're not on your team. And you find that out when you're about to die. And so if you die once and there's no one else on your team, you basically lost the game. Which is probably one of the stupidest games I've ever played. I don't know, that's, that's like, it's more of a multiplayer thing, you know? The multiplayer, oh, no, you can converse your friend, or you can on your team. That's not what I would think zombies would be. I would think the zombies would be you and your friends trying to hoard off the, the hordes. You and your friends trying to beat the zombies and trying to kill the zombies. But that's not what grief mode is. And I think that it's kind of dumb that they didn't put 8 player zombies in the game. 8 player zombie survival, or maybe even 8 player zombie transit, you know? 8 player zombie transit would be awesome. It just, it would be, it would be awesome. Even if it was just transit, 8 player transit would be awesome. It really would. And you know, to, to not even put that feature in and say, oh yeah, we're gonna have 8 player zombies, just not for everything. Um, we're gonna put a new game mode in, and that's gonna be a player zombies. I don't know, it's, it's, it seems kinda silly. I mean, you know, I haven't played it too much. Maybe it's fun, and I'm sure competing against your friends for the most amount of kills is gonna entertain, you know, some of the multiplayer fans. And that's great, you know? That's, that's why there's multiplayer, you know? So you can... I need to have my thunder gun out! Holy, 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 holy. <laughs> I say words over and over again. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for the multiplayer fanatic, you know, who gets the most kills? Who has the best gun? Who, you know, the, the, the big multiplayer fans are really gonna love that game. And I'm sure they do. But for me, you know, I would have honestly wanted eight player zombie survival. Even if it was transit. Just put that game mode in. You know? You promise eight player zombies and you give four player zombies survival and you add it and transit and you add a new game mode that's competitive and you put that as eight player zombies. That's not eight player zombies, that's, comp that's competition zombies. That's not the zombies we know. Um, right? And another thing is that Black Ops 2 basically the zombies pretty much the exact same thing as Black Ops 2. The zombies are pretty much the same. There's no AI change. Uh, the zombies are different, pretty much. Um, most of the zombies are pretty much exactly the same. Um, it's the same AI, the same game mechanics. It's just a lot of texture updates. It's a lot of um, new game modes and new texture updates. You know, there's new textures and perks and there's new storyline and all that stuff. But the zombies are the exact same zombies that we have on here. And so, if you, you know, I mean, of course, there's new custom games that can make them easy, um, which, of course, here you can do, and that's a nice feature. But, you know, there's only easy and cool original. There's no hard. There's no hard. And, and you know what I would have liked to see? I think um, they would add a game that the zombies were really, really smart. You know, that the zombies would be smart enough to, to trick you, almost. Like, to, you know, you're going around in your train, and one decides to take a U-turn and goes behind you and kills you. You know, the smart zombies and the smart AI, that's something that would have been really, really cool for them to add to the game, but they just never did. The zombies would be basically the exact same thing, you know. You put, you put a hard in you put a and you put original, but you don't put a hard in it. It's like, I mean, maybe I'm being, I mean, and of course the zombies in the higher rounds are going to have more health, but it's like, the zombies are the same. They're the, they're the exact same zombies here. I mean, if you played, if you've only played Black Ops 2, and you've never played Black Ops 1, and you come on here, you'd be a pro, pretty much, because they're the exact same zombies. There's pretty, holy crap, <laughs> um, there's no difference. They look different, but there is no difference in their AI, or their health, or how, or how the game is handled. All the same. From the inside. Um, just a little sad. Um, easy zombies is nice. You know, if you're not good at the game and you want to get into it, easy zombies is a really nice touch. But 
not adding dif more difficult zombies or changing their AI just a little bit is kind of a little stupid. 